the magnitude of a vector is the length of a direct route between two points. So here we've got a to b is negative 7, 2. This top number is a change in the x direction, and this bottom number is a change in the y direction. So from a to b, we go negative 7. So that's 7 to the left, and then 2 in the y direction, 2 up. So to go from a to b, we go 7 to the left, and then 2 up. The magnitude of a to b, the exact magnitude of a to b, is the length of this line directly between a and b. To find it, to find the exact magnitude of AB, we can use Pythagoras. It's a right angle triangle, and we're finding a missing length. We're finding the missing hypotenuse here. This word exact just means that our answer is going to be a third, a square root number, not as a decimal. So let's find the hypotenuse using Pythagoras. Pythagoras's theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared or equal to hypotenuse squared. Our a and b are the two shorter sides, the 2 and the 7. So we've got 2 squared plus 7 squared equals h squared. We can use a calculator here. So we can do 2 squared plus 7 squared on the calculator. So 2 squared plus 7 squared is 53. So we can say h squared is 53. To get h by itself, we square root both sides. So h is the square root of 53, which is just root 53. That's our answer. Root 53 is the exact magnitude of a to b. Here's a question for you to try. So pause the video and give this a go. So we're told a to b this time is three negative four. So to get from a to b, we go right three down four. So A to B, we go three to the right and four down. But the question is, what's the magnitude? So what's the length of this line? So again, we're using Pythagoras. A squared plus B squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. We're finding the hypotenuse. So we've got three squared plus four squared equals H squared. 3 squared, we can use the calculator, but 3 squared is 9, and 4 squared is 16. So 9 and 16 make 25. To get h by itself, we square root both sides. So h is 5. The magnitude here is 5. It didn't say exact in the question. That's because we don't have a third as our answer. We've got an integer. We've got a number as our answer. This is a 3, 4, 5 triangle. It's a famous Pythagoras triple. Here's another example. We've been given A to B and B to C, and we need to find the exact magnitude of A to C. So firstly, we have to work out what A to C is, and then we'll find the magnitude using Pythagoras. We can find A to C by thinking of this as a triangle. So if we have A, B, and C, we can say A to C is the same as A to B and then B to C. So A to C is the same as A to B plus B to C. So A to B, if we go from A to B, and then from B to C, that's the same as going from A to C. 
So that's how we're going to work out A to C. It's A to B plus B to C. It's these two added together. When we add vectors, we just add the X changes together and we add the Y changes together. So in the X direction, we went 7 left and 3 right. Negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4. So in total, we go 4 left. And in the Y direction, we went 2 up, 7 down. 2 take away 7 is negative 5. So we went, in total, we went 5 down. So from A to C, A to C can be written as negative 4, 5, which is 4 left, 5 down. It doesn't really matter which way we're going. We've got two sides of the triangle, which are 4 and 5. And we need the hypotenuse. So we're working it out using Pythagoras. So we've got a squared plus b squared equals h squared. 4 squared plus 5 squared equals h squared. So 4 squared plus 5 squared is 41. So 41 equals h squared. Square root both sides. So h is the square root of 41. So the magnitude of a to c, the exact magnitude of a to c, is root 41. Here's a question for you to try. So pause the video and give this a go. So again, we've been given a to b and b to c, but we want a to c. So a to c is the same as a to b plus b to c. So we're going to add these two vectors together. So adding the x changes, negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. And in the y, negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. So we've actually got the same numbers, but the other way round in our question here. So we're going to get the same magnitude. So we've got negative 5, negative 4. So this time we're going 5 left and 4 down. But it makes absolutely no difference to the size of the triangle. So we're still going to get 4 squared plus 5 squared equals h squared. And h is going to be the square root of 41 again. Here is a different question. This time we've been given A to B and C to A. And we want the exact magnitude of B to C. So again, we're going to use the fact that A to B plus B to C is the same as A to C. But this time we're working out B to C. So if we take A to B away from both sides, we get B to C is the same as A to C, take away A to B. And we've been given A to B, but we've got C to A. Now A to C is backwards along this line. So from C to A, we go back seven, down four. From C to A, we go left seven, down four. From A to C, we're going right seven and up four. 
we'll go right seven, up four. So A to C is this but negative. When we go backwards along a line, it's the same but negative. So A to C is seven, four. So to work out B to C, we're going to do A to C, which is our seven, four, take away A to B, which is three, two. Seven take away three is four. Four take away two is two. So B to C is four, two. So if we did draw a triangle, it would be right four up to. I'm going to go straight to a squared plus b squared equals h squared. I'll quickly sketch it. Right four up to. We want the hypotenuse. So we've got four squared plus two squared equals h squared. And I'm going to type it in the calculator. So we've got 20, h squared is 20, h is the square root of 20, which is simplified to 2 root 5. So h is the square root of 20, which is the same as 2 times root 5. And a question for you to try, so pause the video and give it a go. So we've got B to A and B to C, and we want the exact magnitude of A to C. So again, I'm going to write A to B plus B to C is A to C. We've got B to C, but we've been given B to A instead of A to B. So A to B is the same as B to A, but negative but multiplied by negative 1. So 2 and 3. So we've got 2, 3 plus negative 5, 2 equals A to C. 2 plus negative 5 is a negative 3. 3 and 2 make 5. So A to C is negative 3, 5. So if we were to sketch that, it would be left 3, up 5, and again we're working out the hypotenuse. So a squared plus b squared using Pythagoras equals h squared. So 5 squared and 3 squared equals h squared. We'll grab the calculator. 5 squared plus 3 squared is 34, and the square root of 34 is just root 34. h equals square root 34. So that's the magnitude of A to C.